Hello guys, my name is Joan Trivison. I work in La Sec Cocktail Bar and I'm going to do you a twist and a sess rack. Uh, for this drink we're going to start with uh, preparing a glass which we're going to smoke with lemon wood chips which we will also give it a quick spray of absinthe which is going to first help us ignite it in an easier way and also it's going to add a more rounded smoke so not that kind of bonfire smoke that simply would will get us. While the glass is preparing, we're going to start making the drink. And since we won't put any absinthe in this drink, we're going to start with a substitute with a herbaceous ingredient and use 10 ml of chartreuse. And now, I have a bit of a secret about chartreuse. I absolutely hate chartreuse. And I've done so all up until I discovered how amazing chartreuse is with a spritz of lemon. Uh, so I'm going to do that now with a uh, couple of dashes of lemon bitters. Three dashes to be exact. For the final spirit, we're going to use some slow gin as well to further get some herbaceousness in there. And also some nice sweet fruit. And to match this fruit up, we're going to do two dashes of Creole bitters. Ready? Fruit marries extremely well with the slow gin and the anise is gonna tackle back down to the chartreuse and help complement that ingredient. We're also gonna do 10 ml of the Aperitif Beer, T9 infused uh, fortified wine. So with these first two ingredients being kind of sweetish and the other being bitter, this one is going to play sort of in between that with a great bitter sweet character. And then to just find that all up, we're going to do just one dash of Angostura as well. And our base bread here is going to be Rittenhouse Rye Whiskey. I'm going to add that last. And now we're going to just put a little bit of sugar, just less than 5 ml. This is not to sweeten the cocktail out, but rather to round it off a bit, rather so with some more body and release some more flavor. And with that, I'm going to start giving it a stir. Is he making a ice in there and we need to give this quite a bit of a stir because of all the heavy strong flavored ingredients we've been putting in here so it needs quite a bit of dilution That is. Get in there. Get in there. Right, that should be enough. I'll take a new smooth glass. Get the drink straight into that. And get just two cubes of ice in here. And garnish this with a nice fat zest of lemon. This is right on top of that. Look at that. Around the ring for a while.
through this. Let's touch it back.